presenter, again, a distinguished Toastmaster. Distinguished Toastmaster Sadika Kevi. She is a corporate trainer and workshop designer. She is known for her unique storytelling style. She's also a TEDx speaker and a member of the National Storytelling Network in the US. She is a John Maxwell Executive Director and one of his licensed and certified coaches, speakers, trainer, and teacher. She's also the recipient of the 2020 John Maxwell Cultural Award for Equipping Others. She is also the author of two books. Let us welcome the very charismatic, distinguished Toastmaster, Sadika Kebi, with the presentation title, The Power of 3SSS. Thank you, Athira, for this beautiful presentation. Thank you so much. And I would like to share my screen with you. Uh, Sorry, there's something wrong, although we tried it. Um. Uh, Tos Adityam, uh, Sadika, if you're difficult, you can just mail me. I'll try to share from here. Okay, okay. Can you give me your mail, please? Yeah, I'm just kidding. Sorry, Sorry about that. No problem. Yes, I just put it in the chat box. Okay. So... Dear viewers, sorry for this technical inconvenience. Sorry about, about that, although we tried it ahead of time. <laughs> yes, we'll solve it soon within a minute. Thank you. Okay. Uh, so forward to While we are waiting, can we do a very good, very good yes? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. I was about to say, Toastmaster Thomas and Ditya Buraz, we can spread joy and happiness. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's done. I'm not gonna wait. I'm gonna let. I'm not gonna let you wait any uh, any longer. I will start. Okay. And okay. before before uh, telling you about my three uh, S's and the power of these three S's. Another S I discovered when I joined Toastmasters, and it has been a great part of my well-being, and that is storytelling. I discovered the power and impact of personal storytelling. By the way, I learned that when you share your personal storyteller story, you change the history of your country and maybe the history of your world. In schools and universities, we are always focused on studying history in books. If you notice the word history, and they say history repeats itself, it's simply his story. It is always the story of the powerful. It is always the story of the winner. But once, yeah, thank you so much. If you can go to the first, okay. first, first slide. Thank you. Yes, yes. So thank you. when you share your personal story, you really can change the history of your country and maybe the world, as I said. For personal storyteller, storytelling reaches out to your audience's hearts. Because as human beings, we connect on the level of emotions. It is true that our experiences are different. It is true that we go through different uh, stages in our lives 
but we all share the same emotions and the same feelings. And storytelling is the key to your audience's heart. Now, when I joined Toastmasters, the first thing I looked for was values. For I believe that values are the foundational columns of a human being. If one of those columns is shaken, our life is shaken. If one of those columns is lost, who you are is lost. And I compare those columns to a building structure. When you have to build a building, you have to have foundational columns. If those columns are removed, the ceiling tops and falls on the ground. The whole building just collapses. And when, when a person or a human being loses one of those values, they lose who they are and they become shaken. So the first thing I looked for in Toastmasters were their values. Can you please? Um, yes. The slide, please. So the values, as we all know, they are respect, integrity, service, and excellence. And the value that really tugged at my heart here is my first S and it is service. For I was introduced to service at a very young age in my life. And Toastmasters offered me a service platform. I was 10 years old when the Civil War started in Lebanon, and that is in 1975. And exactly on the 6th of December, 1975, my values were shaken. My life was shaken. My beliefs were shaken. For I believed that I lived in the Paris of the Middle East where Jews, Christians, and Muslims were one. And they all strived for knowledge, fashion, culture, and the art. And what my friend Jenna and I did is follow in the footsteps of the adults and our role models. But on the 6th of December, 1975, my friend Jenna and her family were terminated. They were simply slaughtered unfortunately, on one of the Christian barricades that took over Beirut and slaughtered people for being Muslims on their ID. On that day, my values were shaken. I lost belief in my country and my country shattered into 18 sects, 18 pieces. And for two years, I was living in anger, rage, and hatred. But I was one of the lucky Lebanese that I say I got my healing or my dose of healing at a very young age. For two years later, our neighborhood was heavily bombarded and my father took us to refuge at Uncle George's house, his childhood friend who was actually a priest. Uncle George welcomed, wel welcomed us in, and the minute we stepped into his home, he changed our names. He told me, listen carefully and memorize what I'm gonna tell you as if you're memorizing, memorizing verses of the Quran or the Bible. From now on, your name is Mary. Your brother's name is Joseph. Your father's name is Eli, and your mother's name is Anna. In the evening, Uncle George's door knocked violently. 
he, in a minute, he was by my side. He gave me his Bible and he said, hold on to that Bible. It will protect you. And no matter what happens, don't look at the door. But of course, as a child, I took a peek and I saw 10 armed masked men standing on Uncle George's doorstep. They asked him to hand in the Muslims he was hiding. But Uncle George was a priest and he was credible and he stood his ground and he told them, you can come in and meet my brother who came from the States with his family. Within seconds, the 10 armed masked men disappeared. On that day, my world tumbled again for I thought whom to hate. And I was like a Christian two years ago took the life of my friend and her family. And now a Christian is saving us from death. Uncle George took this a step further. On the next day, he woke me up for my morning prayers and he would follow up on my five prayers and we would sit together and pray together, me on my, I, on my mat and him holding his rosary and Bible in hand. And he would repeat after each prayer, my little Sadika, my beautiful Mary, when you hold God in your heart, the human he created reveals itself by serving others. And then, and only then, even your enemy becomes human. Of course, at the time, I didn't know or I didn't grasp the meaning of those words. But because Uncle George was the leader who showed the way and led the way, at the age of 14, I found myself volunteering in the Red Cross in Beirut and helping people from all walks of life, from all religious backgrounds. This is what took Sadika to the level of being human. And I found this service in Toastmasters as well. Can we move please one slide? If serving is below you, leadership is beyond you. This is why we have two tracks going along in Toastmasters. One about speaking and the other about serving. Because when you serve others, this is how you can find your well-being. And not only your well-being, the well-being of others as well. Please, one more slide. That, if you want, that message was so powerful that it led me to my TEDx talk. And when I shared this message, I didn't know that Mark Brown and Darren LaCroix were following up those two world champions. And exactly one week ago, they reached out and they said, Sadika, this presentation of yours is an unforgettable presentation for you have found light through serving others, for you have found who you are through serving others, for you have found your well-being through serving others, and we want this message to be unforgettable. This is where Toastmasters can be take you. It, that, it took me to TEDx, and it also took me to those unforgettable presentations. You know why? Because I wasn't focused on the world champion's title, because in my opinion, titles limit us. Titles put us in boxes. We are way beyond. When we are born, we are born free spirits. But unfortunately, 
society, community, parents, family, school, you name it. They just put us in those boxes and they kind of alienate us. You have to break out of your box so you can reach to better, to, you can reach the world. You have to be a universal human being. And another slide, please. It's his birthday today. Communication leads to the discovery of hidden abilities, broadens the person's conception of how to live with people, how to live with people, social, and being social. This is my second S. This is how you socialize. It brings you out for use the leadership traits and abilities and thus helps to prepare the individual to be a leader. Toastmasters offers us the society, the networking, and not only that, influence. Leadership is about influence. And when you can influence other people's life, you can bring in change. Please, another slide. The second S, which is social, you can see me in 2015 in the conference in Las Vegas with the world champions, with a group of world champions. And on your right side, the picture with Muhammad Kahdani, with Dananjaya, and with two other champions as well. In the middle, this is John Maxwell, my mentor, whom I really regard deeply. So becoming social and and please take advantage of that network. Please don't stay in your clubs. Get out of your clubs, go to districts, go to visit other clubs and try to go to the international conferences because it opens your, it, it just opens the platforms, the world platforms for you. Another slide, please. And here you see me on many different platforms. The John Maxwell team platform addressing 4,000 people. On your right side on the top, this is in Paraguay. And I had the, op the uh, opportunity to address 6,800 people, Paraguayan. My TEDx talk on the bottom. In the middle, this is uh, at George Washington University when I addressed uh, a group of graduating students. And now on the left-hand side, equipping others. This is my podcast on an IBGR network, which is a business radio network. Please get out of the box. Don't stay in Toastmasters. Toastmasters is your stepping stone to universality and always make your messages universal. Again, Ralph Smedley, understanding comes through communication and through communication, we find the way to peace. I'm sorry, Mr. Timer, I might take a bit longer because of what happened. Uh, we find the way to peace. And this is an ultimate value, peace. Peace within ourselves, peace in our communities, peace worldwide, whatever you want, you name it. One more slide, please. My third S is the spiritual one. When I found my voice and when I started telling my personal stories and when I started seeing the change, especially in my TED talk, after finishing my TED talk, I had all the people in the room coming up to me and starting to share. A Muslim saved me, a Christian hid me, uh, another Muslim from a different sect offered me a haven and people came together and bonded together and I was like, please share those stories to change the history of your country. And this is where you start going deeper within you. Can we move one more slide, please? Giving voice to others. When you find your voice, Give voice to others. This is how you start stepping on the spiritual, if you want, ladder. Once you start giving voice to other people. 
you have an, in the bottom on the, I'm going to start with the right side. This is Maimune. She is the oldest human being I've ever met in my life. She passed away in April 2020 and she was 130 years old. And the wisdom she shared with me was, my daughter, never fear God's creation, but fear man's creation. What kind of message is that? The next one is my, my granddaughter. And this is her first speech in her school graduation. On the, uh, the following picture is a Paraguayan young, uh, young student whom also we went there to help them give his a voice. The next picture is Abbas. Abbas who was born with club feet, but unfortunately the, uh, when they tried at the age of nine months to operate on him, the anesthetist broke his neck and he has been in the ER room ever since. He was offered a platform on John Maxwell's team and addressed 16,000 students in the States to give them hope and tell them, stay away from drugs, stay away from depression. Everything is here in your mindset. The one on the top are two children beggars in the streets and they shared their voice with me. And the last one, I had 800 students whom I trained on the youth program of John Maxwell and they also shared their voice. The, the next one, please. The next, yes. I try to take what voice I have and I give it to those who don't have one at all. And this is how you start growing on the spiritual level. One more, please, slide. Listen to your own voice. You reach a point when you do all this, you start listening to your own voice, your own soul. Too many, too many people listen to the noise of the world instead of themselves. Deep inside, you know what you want. Let no one decide that for you. And this is when you connect with the creator's voice. The next, please. There is a voice that doesn't use words. Listen. And listen carefully to that voice, especially when you hold him in your heart. You will be standing on the platform of being human. And by the way, I found out the meaning of my life and I found out my purpose in life. And that is, we are born human, but we are here to become human. And that human is, partly, is part of the godly spirit. Thank you so much. And please excuse the mess I started with. And Mr. Timer also excused me. And thank you for having me. It was a great honor to share my journey with you. Now we know what the three S's stand for. When <laughs> what stands for. Uh, distinguished Toastmaster Sadika, we owe you a huge thanks from our side. Of course, it was great listening to you. Thank you, dear. Thank you so much. Welcome, it's our pleasure. Thank now you. to conduct the Q&A session, let me call upon our moderator. Thank you, DTM Sadika. Thank I you. I am connected with DTM Sadika on a social platform. I am her fan. The amount of social uplifting work she does in Lebanon, highly commendable. Great Thank job. Thank you. Thank you so and much. Today, yeah, today you created a platform that emotional wellness is not only personal, it is also connect your society with service, social and spiritually, and be a voice of the society. That is also a part of wellness. Great take home message. A Thank story you. of a pain, perseverance, and the progress. That's what I call today's your talk. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you very much, DTM Sadika, for sharing such a wonderful insight and your journey into wellness. 
social wellness. Is there any questions from audience? Yeah, till that time, I have one question. In your entire story, you have gone so much journey ups and down. What is that one thing made you to emotionally fit and strong and kept on going? What is that one secret? Well, you know that one secret? Yes. Is that always, I always compare life to my heartbeats. Okay. And the heartbeats, they go up and down and up and down. Yes. So failure, if you want, is a learning process. And if my heartbeats go on straight line, that means I'm dead. And I don't want to be among the living dead. Okay. This is what kept me going. Okay, great. Thank you very much for that message. And one of our audience made your three S into four S. He says service, social, yes. and spiritual. Then he added Sadika, fourth S. Thank you, DTM Guruaj, for Thank that you. wonderful value Thank addition. You. That's <laughs> Thank you what, so yeah, that's what when speaker connects. Thank you. Thank you very much. I presume there are no questions. So DTM Sadika can be thank you very much for being with us. Thank we would you. like to present you this token of gratitude for this wonderful journey, what you shared with us today. Thank you. I, Thank you I so much. I'm really experience. humbled to be here with you today. Thank you. Over to you, Master of Ceremony. Thank you, Toastmaster Master Roshan. Thank you all for joining, gluing to this event. I know it's an irresistible event. So let me welcome our next presenter without further ado, distinguished Toastmaster, 